Hi, my name is Joseph Kim, and I want to show you some CAD importing tips and tricks for you today. Um, here is sort of common scenario. You, you receive a survey or some sort of drawing um, in the DWG file from a client or a surveyor, and uh, when you import stuff, um, a lot of different things happen. So. Uh, let me just demonstrate that. So if I go to file import and I have this uh, DWG file that I set up before you bring this um, it's very important to click on the options. Well first of all uh, make sure you have this checked as DWG or DXF the file that you're looking for for this uh, for this time around, um, I'll, add it. I'll do the DWG file. So options. I don't typically worry about this because it doesn't really apply to me. Uh, but what's really important uh, to me is the units. So I'm, I'm actually working in London. So um, I work in millimeters or I should say metrics um, but if you're in states um, you can be doing inches um, if you're in master planning or urban development then um, meters will be what you want to go for um, in my case I know my drawings in millimeters and I'm working in millimeters so I'll do that and I think most of the time it's important to check this box where it says preserve drawing origin and the reason for that is because you can be having a lot of series of drawings it can be different levels that are coming in it can be um, a one drawing that's a grid and the other drawing being all the walls uh, typically you'll have that as a divided into layers but um, you can be having uh, a lot of drawings that are coming in and if if you you don't have this check then you're gonna have to uh, align things later on and to my idea it's it's actually easier to check this most of the times I say most of the time because there are some exceptions but um, have this checked and see how it comes in and if it comes in wrong then you can change it so um, let's just do that okay so here's a file. I'm just going to go ahead and import that. And then we'll just show you a dialog. You'll typically just press close and get out of this. But sometimes it's worth looking at what things are sort of ignored or not imported. So I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but um, here is one hint. Uh, hatches are ignored. Uh, some texts are going to be ignored. This is quite typical. Um, empty blocks are going to be ignored. Um, so uh, you have all of these things that carry it in with, with just this importing process. So let's close that. And my screen kind of went blank except this little thing. Um, that was part of the uh, template that I had and um, let me just delete the part that belongs to the template and when you have something already drawn in the drawing and when, when you import other stuff those imported um, elements will be in a single single group However, if you didn't have anything and if you import something, um, then there will be a loose geometry. Um, all the lines and faces that you bring in will be sort of floating around. It, will, it won't be within a group. Uh, in my case, I had a little cube drawn in, in, the, um, in the template like this. So that one was in the group. Therefore, if I import, um, things will be... Uh, grouped together so um, so this is back to the state where I have imported and deleted my template element um, so if I do zoom extent 
this is what happens. Um, I see a dot and another dot. And this sort of thing is quite typical when you're importing um, an external file and you don't know where it came from or you, you may know where it came from, but um, uh, this could be an accident, uh, something meant to be. You just have to deal with it. So um, let's just investigate what's happening. Um, so in, on this side, I have actually what it seems like a series of dots. And it's even difficult to zoom in. So a series of dots. Okay, that's good. Uh, how do I get rid of that? And that's actually part of that CAD file there. So I'm just going to go in here and then select that and delete those. Fine, to some extent. Then now I'm effectively back to the right dot that was on my screen, uh, which is what I really want for this purpose. So basically, I was really far out, and that just that was just shown as a dot. So if I zoom extent there. So this is what you see. And evidently, I'm quite far out from my origin. And that's because whoever drawn this CAD file decided to put something very far out. Um, so even if I zoom out, I'll never get to see my origin. And my origin, I believe, is somewhere out here. So there it is. Um, that's my origin where the green blue red axis meet and that's my drawing and it's just i don't know how this how long this let's actually check origin to this drawing is about let me keep an eye here 77388873 i don't know what that converts to but it's quite far out so um so the idea is to actually put that back into origin. Now, in the import option, you know, should you not have ticked this? Well, the problem it might still lie there because you've had um, a couple of dots that I removed that's on the left side of the screen. So you'll probably have this problem still on um, some files you may not uh, but like I said you check this because you can be having a series of drawings um, and you know this is say the ground level but then the next one could be the upper level and the more levels you bring in it will probably land on the same exact spot every time otherwise um, the drawing is going to be all coming in a different location and uh, you're going to have to realign it. So once you bring all of those levels in, now we're just going to do a little bit of moving um, so we can actually see the origin because it's it's really never good to have a drawing so far from origin for um, technical reasons. Um, I'll explain why that is. First, let's just kind of move this one. Um, I'm just going to pick a happy point. Um, I say happy point because sometimes things don't line up. Um, so, there it went. Um, let's say that cross point there on the grid is my origin or drawing origin. So, I pick that one up, and then the drawing is just going to follow me. And just keep an eye here. Instead of typing, you know, what was it, seven seven something, um, to this direction, uh, which will never land me. Uh, what I would do is I'll do this bracket here, zero comma zero comma zero, and close the bracket, um, and enter. And once I do that, that things are sort of moved to the origin. So. What I'm basically telling SketchUp is that X, Y, Z axis uh, 0, 0, 0, which is the origin. So zoom extend, and then notice that point has just gone to the origin. 
So that's all neat and nice. And I'll just show you another problem that you can be facing. And this is kind of funny, at least to my idea, uh, problem. So I'm just going to group this rectangle. I just put on the rectangle because uh, it's just easier to zoom in in and out and orbit uh, when when you have a face and if I don't have a face I can be zooming into infinity and out and it doesn't behave as nicely so that's another trick for you so notice how if I zoom in and orbit it blinks and jiggles so if you look at here tiny objects it jiggles and blinks and who knew <laughs> Uh, SketchUp could kind of dance around like this, but um, we 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 have to we we have to fix this because I don't really want any walls and floors to jiggle around. So um, here's a very nice plugin developed by TomTom Tom, um, called Axis Tools and Set Origin. It's got only one option there. Um, I'm not so worried about where putting, I think the center does the job very well. Um, so if you actually, without selecting anything actually, um, I, I've actually seen better results like this. So without selecting anything, just set origin, center, center, center there, okay. And it'll just kind of pause for a moment and then sketch a will think. And then all that jiggling and dancing is gone the reason for that um, if I understood correctly um, uh, I think TomTom -Tom had had explained that in the forum before uh, the reason for that is because in the CAD you can have blocks uh, which has origin that is very far in that block so you can have a one column that had origin you know as far as a couple of miles far back and but the block element is all out here and your origin is f far out far out somewhere a couple of miles and um, SketchUp is keep having to refer back to that distance and it's just doing a lot of thinking and not sure where to put things and there's all sorts of scale issue because of that uh, so Therefore, once you put the origin in the middle of that block or component in SketchUp, um, then all that jiggling sort of goes away and blinking. So that's nice and neat. Um, it's just that if you have other drawings that are coming in, just make sure you put that onto the origin. So you'll probably see another drawing with, with the same grid, even if it's another floor. Then you'll just find that grid, uh, the grid point, and then just put into the origin, and then um, move that drawing um, up, say I don't know five, six meters or so, if you're working in metric, so that you can match all the plans nicely. So that was a tip on importing the CAD file.